Okay, this is Jamal Hartwell coming at you, and I am going to demonstrate. Uh, I just um, I'm doing a conference next week in uh, the UK in London uh, for Pianos for Jesus with uh, Precious Obimbi, and he sent me over a track that we're going to shed to for a jam session, and I'm just now starting to learn the track. He sent me the track maybe two or three days ago, so I'm going to show you how to use Mediculous to learn a song. Now this is an MP3, okay? So I'm going to show you how I would use Mediculous to, to learn a song, okay? So here, here it is, the interface. So I got my MIDI keyboard connected, my Yamaha uh, XF8. So Alright, so here's the MP3. Let's take a listen to it. Hear how it goes. Load the MP3 right there. Okay, nice track. Okay, so we jam. Now, as you can see, I can play along with the MP3 on my keys. I, I never played the song, I just know what's in this key. All right, let's Anna. Now, let's stop this. Let's stop this, all right? So let's analyze this track. Now, all right, let's, now, how I usually like to uh, learn songs is that I like to break up every section, every piece of a song into different sections. All right, so, so if we listen to this song again, all right? All right, so to me, Right there, that that would be the first section that I would learn. I never, I never go to a song and try and learn the whole song in one piece. Every every song has different pieces. So to me, I would call that the intro. So the cool thing about MIDI keys, what we can do, we punch in. Then we punch out. We call this the intro. Now what that is is uh is is um that's a uh that's a loop point. So right here you got your your audio file and then connected to the audio file are different loop points, all right? So right there I just named that uh I just named that intro intro run, okay? All right, so let's listen to the rest of the song and hear what other parts we got. That's nice. All right, so that second part is still part of the intro, but it's different. So I'm gonna call that intro. All right, let's not. Let's just call this uh, intro runs, and then we call we call it intro chords or something. So let's let's play it again and get ready to punch in. That's punching in. All right. So we call that intro chords. Now, there is two or three parts in there. I guess you could probably uh, break that up in different parts, but we can, we can just go ahead and do that. So let's listen to this again. Here's the intro, about right here, okay? Now, now part two. This is still part of two. 
Now here's like the chorus, okay? Okay, that's that sounds pretty gospel-y. Uh, that's pretty. Black, black, black. <laughs> okay. Ah, I see. All right. I would do chorus, and then I would go back here. That run. And then I call that the the chorus run. All right, I already got my I got my pieces, okay? I got my pieces. So I got my pieces right here, all connected here. I got my intro and everything. So let's uh, let's um, let's let's start this. All right. So now. Now I don't know about you, but general MIDI sounds really suck. Okay. This is electric piano. Listen to this this uh, this regular grand piano. That sucks. So what I like to do, I like to use something that inspires me. So I go up to file. I mean, ridiculous preferences, and then I go to MIDI preferences, and I go to edit virtual instrument, and I like to add my own stuff here. So let's go and use my uh, let's let's use a y'all know I love MIDI uh, uh, neo soul keys. Let's go to Sonic Synth two. All right, let's go to Sonic Synth two and maybe use um, a little little EP here. It's a little different just to let you know I can I, I can use other stuff. Um, so let's use that. So there we go. So we got Sonic Synth here. So I'm used now. That sounds a lot better. All right. So so I'm using the uh, the soft synth. I'm using the VST synth instead of using these sorry general MIDI MIDI stuff. Now if I want to play the keys here, I say, whoa, don't play this instrument. Play it from the VST, and I can play it from my keyboard. So now I can learn this song in something, a nice, uh, a nice sound that I like that's inspiring instead of those sorry general MIDI. Alright, so let's get started with this song. First thing when you're learning a song, you're trying to figure out what key it's in. So here's the intro, alright? We broke it up into the intro. Here's the intro. I've been doing this for a while so I can pick the key. So that the, the key, before I even touch the keyboard, hum it. And that's minor because that rolls on a minor scale. So F sharp, all right. So that's that's F sharp minor. So so F sharp minor goes something like so blue scale. So so the way the way the um sound it sounded. Let's hear it. So that's that's minor. So that's a blue scale. That's a blue note. So it's a pentatonic scale. Another way to think of that is that we could you could think of it as F sharp blue scale, or you could think of it as A major. They share the same, some of the same notes except for that blue note right there. 
call that the blue note. So it's a uh, really it's a pentatonic scale with a blue note. That's the pentatonic pen penta meaning five. One, two, three, four. Wait, uh, this would be. So five. One, two, three, four, five. See? One, two, three, four, five. And then this blue note in here, right here, adds the blue note. One, two, three, blue note. All right. All right, so this is that run in the beginning is like a pentatonic thing. All right, that's kind of cool. Now, what I want to do is slow this thing down, though. Let's slow this thing way down so I can hear the stuff. All right, let's do this. Dun, 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 So it sounds like bum, 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 bum. It's just falling along the blue scale. Bum, 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 bum. So it sounds like it's going... Bum, 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 Let's see if that's right. So. All right, so let's slow it down. Bum, 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 bum. And then it said, bam, bum, bam, bam, bum, bam. Bam, bam, bum, bam. I use my, I use, when I'm figuring out runs and stuff, I use my own, my own mind, I use my own singing. Because what's in your mind, what's in your soul, what's in your heart, in your mind, it comes out in your keys. So before you even touch the keys, kind of play it out in your mind first, if that makes sense. So he went, dun, 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 dun. wait, let me go. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, when you do your runs, always do left hand, right hand to get it. Dun, 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 dun. And he went, bam, bam, bam. Okay, so let's listen to it again. Real slow. Slower. So he said, dun, 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 dun. So something like that. Alright, so okay. From the top. This is how I learn songs, guys. Bam bum bam bam. So now I'm just gonna play along with it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, go. Baba, you hear that? You hear that? Baba. When you hear that that interval, so when you've been playing for a while and you start to hear stuff, you start to hear intervals. So when he went that, I'm going to show you what he did. When you hear dana, you know that's always the tritones. That's how tritones sound. So it's like banner, 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 banner. There we go. It's a tritone. Here's the tritone interval. Tritone is three tones. One, two, three whole tones, or six semitones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So banner, so banner, banner. Hit off that blue scale. So, so he went. Wait, sir. Boom, 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 Let me see what he did. Okay, let's try and do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you know I like to gotta add the neo soul in there. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
So I like to add stuff in there. That's my thing, though. So, all right. I'm just playing around with this song. I just like to do... Let me just do some... <laughs> all right, all right. Let me try something else. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, just playing around. All right. Da, da, da. Da, one more time. All right, so we got that. We got that. It seems like I got it, right? So. I speed it up a little more. Let's take it to, you can see right up there, as I, as I go up here, we can take it up to, um, tempo up to 100, 100%, all right? So let's see if we can do it in real time, all right? So let's see, let's see. <laughs> take it a little step further when I'm learning runs like this I go faster than the time say so why do you go faster than the time you already can play it in real time well if I can play it faster than what it's supposed to go then chances are I can play it slower than what it's supposed to go and that gives my chops up okay so let's see <laughs> So, we got that part down. I'll just keep practicing that. Now, let's go to the second part, the intro chords. Ooh. All right, so I pull back in my memory bank of my experience once again. Learning to play the piano or learning to play any instrument is just like learning how to walk for a little kid. First thing you do is you learn how to crawl. Second thing you do is you learn how to stand. Third thing you do, you learn how to uh, crawl from one place, I mean, walk from one place to another. Fourth thing you do is learn how to um, run and then and run, learn how to walk. Then you learn how to run. It's piece by piece. That's why you can't really start learning fat chords until you learn the basics. So. What you do is you develop a vocabulary of chords and you develop a vocabulary of runs and intervals so that when you hear intervals, you'll be able to play them. Now, this sounds something like this beginning part. Now, this is almost like just a major chord, all right? This is just like a major chord going back. Just like a major chord, but you structure it from the melody line. So listen to the highest point of this. Let's hear it. Slow it down once again. So what I would do if that's the I know from experience that usually those type of runs you go backwards on the on a major scale. So it goes something like this. So let's see if I'm right. All right, 
that's pretty nice. That second one sounds a little different. Yeah, it sounds a little majory, so it goes. So actually, it sounds a little bit that they're adding the full blown. So something like that. Well, let's play it and see if it works, alright? That middle one is still a little off. It's a little off, so let me hear. Let me listen to that again. Let's slow it down one more time. Yeah, that sounds about right. One more time. All right. All right. All right, so, all right, we learned that. I'm not gonna learn the whole song in front of you guys. I'm just gonna go piece by piece. And then we learn. It sounds pretty easy, okay. So now, initially, what a lot of musicians do, they hear something like this and they think he's going. I, I, it happens a lot. You go to you go to a session and a musician is playing a song, and 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 you 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 sent them the tape. And all of a sudden, all he hears is this. He hears this. And immediately, you know, the musician says, oh, this sounds similar to blah, blah, blah. So all he's doing is. And the next thing you know, the musician's playing a song like he's jamming, and he's wondering why he doesn't get a call back. Because the, even though this sounds like something you played before, you gotta listen to the details. So let's listen to the details, all right? So let's listen to this bass, all right? So this bass go. So, slower, slower, slower. This bass. So, what? So it goes. So it's different than what you see. Normally we were doing gospel. Let me do the right hand. But he didn't do that. He went. Wait. He went. He went. Wait a minute. Let me listen to that now. When you listen to a song, that bass note, sometimes it's hard to hear when it's so low. It sounds like it's a half a step different. So, ah, no, he played, he went, he didn't go, he played the, that's what he did. He went, so, so what that is, is, What he did. So what a what a musician usually would do is this guy would be like, oh okay, I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. He's just doing a simple uh um. He'd be like, oh, he's just doing a simple. And you'd be like, no, that's not it. You got to listen to the tape a little more. He's doing. Once you get the foundation of what he's doing, then you can start adding your substitutions and stuff. So, or, or. Yeah, 
once you that's why I always say learn it like it's there then you can add your substitution because if you learn it the wrong way the first time then you're substituting on something that's wrong so 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 what's the rest of it let's learn the rest let's learn the rest of it So bam, bam, bam. So that's kind something something like that. I got the hiccups, guys. <laughs> so we went. So that's how you would learn using meticulous all right so you slow it down you go to each part back in the day we would use a tape recorder and keep rewinding it keep rewinding it so that's how you would use meticulous this is an awesome software and the cool thing about it is that if you're learning a song and you do dude is like yo man you learn that song what what's the chord uh look at that a flat uh, minor six over uh, minor six over, over f diminish flat minor or so that's the song start off with the runs All right, so that is how you learn a song, a difficult song or a new song using Meticulous. Back in the day, they got a software called Easy Slow Downer and Slow Go uh, Replay Technologies with CD Looper. See, what we did, we took all of the good stuff that you like about Easy Slow Downer and all those software, we put it right here and we added the MIDI part. So that's why, that's why we said audio plus MIDI makes it meticulous all right so that's the beauty of this software love it 